gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. Hudson, who's going to be working on the advertising for our new liner. Great to be on board, as it were. Well, you're not on board. We haven't finished building it yet. No, but on board might also mean involved in the project. I don't think it does. Well, it might do. And if it did, and the project was to do with a ship, saying you were on board would be doubly apposite. Surely only if your announcement of involvement were made while actually on it. I'm afraid I think you're trying to pun an idiom, the existence of which I dispute, with a state of shipboardness that is evidently lacking. Did you work hard on that opening? You never get a second chance to make a first impression. That is the cleverest thing I've ever heard! You've totally regained my confidence. Tell us your advertising ideas for our liner. Well, these are my main two thoughts. <coughs> What I'm trying to get across is what a brilliant boat this is going to be and that, consequently, it won't in any way sink. Don't you think we should emphasise the catering? What? The catering, the restaurants on board, uh, the ballroom... Or oh, the band, we can mention the band. The plumbing. The paintwork. The crockery. The lifeboats. No! Uh, the seats. Well, not really. From, from the brief I was given, I thought that the whole thing about this ship is that it's a triumph of human engineering. Yes, it's luxurious, but that goes without saying. Its selling point is its unsinkability. Hence, God himself couldn't sink her. Right. So, so what's the problem? Well, I suppose our worry is, what if it sinks? What if it sinks? Yes, what if it sinks? Uh, you know, we'll end up looking pretty daft if it sinks, saying, you know that it wouldn't sink. It would look like we were tempting fate, if it sinks. Is it going to sink? No, of course it's not going to sink. It might sink. Well, <laughs> anything might sink, you know. Uh, and if it does sink, this campaign is going to leave us with egg on our faces. So, what are you thinking? Titanic, it might sink. Anything might sink. International travel, not for the faint-hearted. No, emphasise the catering. What if everyone gets the shit? There's no need to be crude. I'm sorry, but you've got to give me something to run with here. You told me that the whole thing about this ship is that it's really incredibly unlikely to sink. Massively even more unlikely to sink than ships already are. And now I'm not allowed to mention it in the marketing. Well, I'm just worried about the irony if it sinks. Is it going to sink? Probably not, but this campaign will make us look stupid if it does. Well, if it sinks, you'll look stupid anyway. You'll be the bunch of shipbuilders that built a ship with all holes in it or whatever. Mm, no, I see. And, and if it doesn't sink, but you've marketed it on the basis that it might, you'll look stupid when you go bankrupt because everyone's too scared to get on it. How about we go with two posters, hmm? Titanic unsinkable and Titanic sinkable. And then, if it sinks, we can pretend we thought it was, like, flammable and inflammable. That might cover us. Why are you so convinced that this ship is going to sink? Sod's law. It's like arranging a picnic in July with no wet weather venue. It's bound to rain. And similarly, this ship is bound to sink because it hasn't got anywhere near enough lifeboats. Well, why don't you build some more? We've spent all that money on the marketing. 